Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we have a very exciting video. I'm making two dresses for my nieces that match because one of my nieces just loves matching with her other, with my other niece. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna make the top and the sleeves out of this hot pink ribbed fabric. It's very beautiful. And I'm gonna make the skirt part out of this beautiful tie-dye uh, fabric. She got to pick, um, no, leave that alone, that's not for you. Uh, she got to pick the fabric and the pattern, and yeah, I'm very excited to make these for them. Okay, so I have all the pieces cut out, and I'm just going to sew each section one at a time. So I'm going to sew all of the shoulder seams, all of the liners together, all of the um, like seams together, all at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, so it just kind of like is an assembly line <laughs> and yeah let's get started now the first thing that they have us doing is sewing the top shoulder seam together so I'm gonna do that on all the bodice pieces so I just tried sewing the top uh, shoulder seam and it just kind of the machine didn't really like the back stitch so I'm not gonna back stitch on this fabric uh, and just hope for the best <laughs> bodices all sewn together. Now I just need to put the liner onto the front piece. So it's the next day and I'm going to sew the neckbands together. Oh yes, you're so sweet. <laughs> took me way longer than I care to admit uh, and so did this next part where they want us to open up the where they want us to open up the bodice and the liner separately and then sew the sides here yes how can I help you and then sew the sides here together separately it it's a bit confusing for my brain but I think I figured it out <laughs> so I have all the sides so um pinned together and I'm just gonna sew them all together.
so I have both of the bodices. Isn't this tiny? Oh, it's teeny tiny. I have both the bodices put together and now it's to put on the sleeve flounce. Uh, that's what they're calling it, the flounce. It's adorable. It's you take a square piece of fabric and you fold it in half and then you fold it in half again and then you put this little piece on a, on a folded edge and a folded edge and then a corner and then you cut it out that way and it creates a perfect circle and it just it baffles me I don't understand it but that's what happens and how cool is that so I'm gonna attach these to this to the armholes and then sew them. They're meant to be left raw, raw edged on the outside. Um, I can see why because of the flounce and I'm just, I'm hesitant to leave them raw edged. I'm just not sure whether I'm going to leave them or, or hem them, but they look so pretty just left alone. And I think they'll fall differently if, um, if I hem them. So I'm not quite sure I haven't decided yet on what I'm going to do there, but let's get them pinned together and I can decide later. Okay, so it's the next day and I have the sleeves all pinned on and now we're just going to sew them together. your bum. Can you move? Can you move? Thank you. had one seam slip a little so I had to seam rip it <laughs> and now I'm just gonna re-sew the seam the sleeve back on and hopefully we don't have that problem again took a tiny cat nap and now I'm back so I've got all the pockets pinned if my cats haven't messed it up again for like the third time because they are just absolutely ridiculous and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew a line from the pocket down and then I'm gonna open it press it and then I'm gonna sew a top stitch or a, an under stitch to the to the seam. <laughs> So the reason I'm top stitching the pockets, or yeah, the pockets, they don't ask us to do that in the pattern, but the reason I'm doing it is so that they don't stretch out. 
The reason I'm doing it is because I was told to do it by the sewing master, by the master sewist. Uh, and that's why she said to do it was because so that the pockets don't stress out. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> So I've got both skirts sewed together. Now all I have to do is attach them to the bodice and then hem them. Okay, I've got the tops uh, pinned to the skirt on both sides and now I'm just gonna sew the skirt together and then I'll be done except for hemming. both dresses all hemmed and everything and look at how just adorable they turned out and how teeny tiny they are oh my goodness they turned out so beautiful and I'm so excited for them to get them in the mail look at that tie-dye and these little fluency sleeves oh my goodness so cute thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.